Hey guys, I'm Nick and welcome back to Siphonetics or if you happen to be a new visitor here, please don't forget to click on that big subscribe button to stay up to date and current with all the latest Star Trek news on YouTube. Today, we've got that latest news. It is in the form of a brand new trailer for Star Trek Picard Season 2. It seems like it's been forever and a day since we last saw Picard and uh, i got to say this new trailer has got me pumped about the new season coming out on the 3rd of March. Cannot wait for it. So today we're going to have a look through this new trailer which has a whole bunch of new shots we've never seen before. Some new surprise visitors by uh, classic characters that are appearing in it. Um, it's going to be a great season. I can feel it in my bones. Uh, so let's take a look through this trailer shot by shot and see what it was all about. Some moments that haunt us all our lives. Moments upon which history turns. Now in these first shots we see the last Serena being pursued by three Federation starships, two Nova class it would appear, which you might remember from the old Voyager episode Equinox, the Equinox was a Nova class starship, and the other class is a Steamrunner class we first saw in Star Trek First Contact. And the other thing worth noting here is La Serena has had a new paint job or a modification in its paint job uh, from the uh, red and white uh, patterning on the hull has gone for an all silver or grey appearance. Next we get a shot of Raffi and Elnor, uh, looks like Elnor's been injured significantly here and is in quite a bit of pain. Raffi's consoling him. So in knowing that time travel was involved in season two of Picard, I initially thought they might be using the Borg method as seen at the beginning of Star Trek First Contact where the Borg opened a temporal rift. But it would seem like based on these shots that the actual method of time travel they're using to get back in time is the old slingshot around the sun technique uh, seen in Tomorrow is Yesterday, the original series episode, and then again in Star Trek for the Voyage Home. Next we see a hand in a red glove reaching for a what looks like a necklace that's sort of shaped a bit like a shark's fin. Q was always known to be wearing red gloves. I wonder whether this is the red gloved hand of Q. Next is a shot of Brent Spiner, no doubt playing another version of the Sung family, no doubt. He's obviously already played Arik Sung and uh, Alton Sung and Noonien Sung and every Sung under the sun and now he's playing another Sung son. Next seems to be a shot of a female in a sort of a tight cat suit, which I'm guessing is the Borg Queen, holding a knife. The Borg Queen, played by Annie Wershing, who we know has quite a big part in this season. And a shot of Picard talking to Laris. Well, hello, my friend. What is this? What have you done? Welcome to the road not taken. Now it seems like this part of the timeline there is some sort of security shield encompassing the entire Earth. And we see the typical painting in Picard's office is no longer the peaceful and tranquil shot of the Enterprise D but a rather hostile and aggressive looking ship firing multiple phases. Do you have any idea what's happening here? Reality has been broken. A divergence. I know someone who could help us understand the change in time. We've got Seven of Nine looking in the mirror here and seeing that she has no Borg implants. Elnor running away from somebody who's shooting at him in some sort of marketplace. An officer on board a Federation starship whose console happens to be exploding. If we look in the background here, we can see the layout, which could be one of these ships from the start of the trailer we saw. Girati on board the La Serena, uh, from, based on the schematic in the background behind her there. Looking very dark, obviously in the alternate timeline. Seven of Nine, or what's probably going to be referred to as Annika Hansen, as she wakes up in the alternate timeline realizing something massive has changed and a similar reaction here from Chris Rios on board his ship that is changed to fit the new timeline. Picard looking at a sign here in regards to what I'm guessing is something to do with the Bell Riots that we saw in Star Trek Deep Space Nine where they had like sanctuary districts and so forth. Picard walking into a bar here, we've got an Andorian in the background, we've got a sign for Arconis Lager in the background which we've seen before going back to I think it was Star Trek 3 Search for Spock and this is the bar where no doubt Guinan works. Obviously Guinan's bar on the Enterprise was called 10 Forward and she's clearly kept the same name for her bar here being 10 Forward Avenue. I'm gonna need some tea. Earl Grey, piping hot. Hello, Guinan. Your answers are not in the stars and they never have been. Earth 2024. 
great to see Whoopi Goldberg back again in Sartre Picard here. The relationship between her and Picard was always really interesting on board the Enterprise on The Next Generation, and I think she'll be a good addition to this new season of the show, particularly because we know that from yesterday's Enterprise episode, uh, her species has got a kind of a sixth sense when it comes to observing changes in sort of temporal timelines and so forth. Another shot of La Serena doing the whole slingshot around the sun to uh, go back in time routine, and no doubt the La Serena arriving at Earth in this new timeline, which we now know is Los Angeles in the year 2024. A single change is vastly more dangerous than you realize. None of our tomorrows are guaranteed. We get a shot here of Picard as a young boy having a mind meld given to him by this Vulcan. And we also see Picard as a teenager as well. We get the Borg Queen in this shot, which looks like it could be in the uh, engineering section of the La Serena. I'd be interested to see if they've got a Borg Queen running the ship. That would be an interesting turn of events. Looks like we've got Q here offering Brent Spiner, aka one of the Sung family members, a blue pill of some kind. What is this, the Matrix? <laughs> La Serena under attack by what seems like could be a bunch of different Federation starships, a blonde woman, which could be Gerati or Seven of Nine, in a red dress, walking down the middle of the road in Los Angeles. Seven of Nine and Raffi in a police car in the midst of a big police car chase somewhere in uh, downtown LA. You're gonna have to let go. We're stronger together. You must bring us home. This is a very bumpy century. But, uh, I think I'm getting the hang of it. Some very menacing looking security officers here with uh, veins all over their face like they've been uh, borgified or zombified of some description, targeting our crew at the Chateau Picard Vineyard. Next we get Brent Spiner's character looking quizzically at some kind of keycard or passcard or data storage device. The engineering section of La Serena with uh, Elnor, Seven of Nine and Raffi. The same set, this time with all of our crew present, looking very ominous here in the lighting department. Another shot of the Borg Queen here, looks like she's plugged into the uh, engineering section of the La Serena, going by the circular engines on the back wall, this time in green to represent Borg modification. Looks like uh, Seven and Raffi here are using perhaps a tricorder to emit some kind of sonic blast to disable the driver of a bus so they can hijack a bus or something. Chris Rios having a fist fight with one of these veiny faced security type officers as Picard watches in the background. So it looks like the bus they're hijacking is some sort of prisoner transport going by the bars on the window and the correctional officer that Rios has to take out here. I believe you have one final frontier yet to come. In this shot, we see La Serena again being attacked by these three Federation starships with the uh, Earth in the background with the massive uh, defense screen active. An explosion on board a Federation starship with the uh, Starfleet officers being thrown from one side of the corridor to the other. Girati holding some sort of engineering tool while the Borg Queen sinisterly lurks from out behind a bunch of storage containers. Next we see Laris and another character in a hallway at Shadow Picard with uh, doors opening and a very bright light shining beyond them. Picard in 2024 Los Angeles being followed by a very creepy dude with uh, white eyes. Q doing his iconic finger snap. Thanos eat your heart out. Seven of Nine this time with her Borg implants in her uh, on board a Federation starship. Girardi in the background looking very angry about to shoot a phaser at somebody. La Serena involved in a uh, dogfight of some kind against these very pointy ships. I think they could be Fenris Ranger ships and one of them exploding. And a last little exchange here between uh, Guinan and Picard. i got to say, Guinan kind of looks like maybe she isn't using the synth oil in this scene. I think she's on the real stuff. This new trailer looks great. I, I was really excited seeing it. We've got some classic starships there, some classic locations. Obviously, Guinan's back in it. We've got Q. It's going to be... I've got a really good feeling about this season. It's going to be really interesting. Guys, let me know in the comments section what you are looking forward to most about Season 2 of Star Trek Picard. What aspects of this new trailer excited you the most? Leave your thoughts in the comments section. Please, guys, uh, leave a super thanks. If you're able to, it really helps the channel out. Keeps all these videos churning out a couple of times a week that I'm doing for everybody. Uh, and uh, by all means, as I said, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Uh, check out my 
my merch in the merch store. We can pick up some cool Star Trek flavored t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, caps, all that sort of stuff. Or if you're liking the galaxy projector we've got going on in the background here with the stars and the nebula, you can go to Galaxy Lamps and pick up one of these babies. Galaxy projector, uh, get 10% off with the coupon code NICK10. Link is in the description. Click on that, it'll take you right there. Looking forward to Star Trek Picard season two. I hope you are too. I'll see you guys soon for another video. Catch you soon.